Okay, everybody, uh, welcome to another uh, how-to video. Today we're going to do another tarot uh, layout, as it were. Um, today's layout is the pentagram. The pentacle, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's uh, just five cards, and each card will correspond to a certain elemental aspect of a person or situation. So, whatever it is you need to look into. This one's a pretty useful one. Uh, I use it quite often myself. And uh, hopefully I will be able to demonstrate the uh, utility and ease of this particular layout. So, as you would do in uh, any other reading, you would sit down uh, with the person you're working with, or uh, maybe yourself, and think about the question and do your shuffling and any other particular rituals you uh, like to use. Uh, so shuffle up your deck, and then you're ready to draw. And so for this layout, it's, like I said, five cards. And I like to go in uh, that direction. What is that? Counterclockwise? Clockwise? Ah, uh, you'll see it. Uh, so start at the top. I like to. You can do it whichever way you want. Uh, top, I, in, I've, the way I lay this out, this is spirit. Uh, this will be fire. And then air. Water. And earth at the bottom. And that's the layout. That's it. It's a pretty pretty quick one to do, pretty simple, but it does usually yield a, a surprisingly in-depth view of whatever it is you're looking at. So, like I mentioned before, and maybe I'll put those little tiles in in the video. Uh, spirit, fire, earth. Er, eh, 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 spirit, fire, air, water, earth. Goodness. Um, I don't think I have anything to indicate those, but anyways, guys, so... Uh, Spirit up top will generally indicate, um, I'll put this coin on here just so you know which card I'm talking about. Spirit will indicate uh, the overall uh, essence of the situation, the overall mood, the overall spirit of the question or situation, whatever it is you're looking at. Um, this will be, uh, I guess if you're familiar with the Celtic Cross, this would be the Significator card, or the card that indicates everything basically. It'll set the tone for the rest of the reading. Uh, we'll move down here. This is the fire card. So this would be the person or situation's kind of will. Um, the way things are burning, the way things are turning, the drive, the, uh, the force behind the situation. Any kind of uh, fiery aspect could be found in this position. Um, and uh, it should be uh, well a little more obvious once you flip the card over <laughs> and get a look at what it is. Uh, this would be the air card, uh, so this is uh, thoughts and attitudes and words spoken, um, any kind of mental thing certainly taking place. This would uh, tend to be what the mind is locked into, um, or what everyone is thinking about uh, in this layout. Uh, this is the water card over here where the coin is now, uh, so this would be what everybody's feeling. What everybody intuitively knows, the unspoken truths, uh, the unconscious knowledge, um, the, yeah, and the feelings, of course, or the uh, kind of uh, emotional state of everyone or everything in the situation. Uh, and then finally, we'll end down here on the Earth card. Uh, so the Earth is the material, the concrete, the, uh, the reality, I suppose, of the situation, where things wound up, where things landed, where things have taken root. Um, and all of those will be indicated by uh, whatever card that should be in your reading. It will kind of inform you and fill in the details as to where those things have landed. Oops. So uh, I'm going to put that back down and move the coin back up here. So that's it. Um, that's the uh, pentagram layout. Uh, you know, it'll take some practice if you're new to this one to kind of get a feel for it, uh, what everything, what the positions mean and how they might relate to the card. So just as an example, we can start flipping these over now. So here we have the Queen of Winds. So whatever the situation or person is, uh, it's a very airy one. It's uh, perhaps focused on one's internal thinking patterns. It's uh, kind of a clear-cut uh, situation. I, there's no real confusion involved here as far as that goes. But overall, because it's a sword suit and it's a court card, we could understand that, yes, this is... Uh, uh, mental situation um, overall it's a lot of thinking going on and uh, if this was a, a female uh, we're looking at then we're right on target 
Um, if not, it might be a woman that's involved overall in the situation, just based on the uh, gender of the court card there. So we have the hangman in the fire position, so that's where things are headed. There's a kind of surrendering of will in this case, it seems, um, or a need for that surrender. Uh, uh, and that's, uh, you know, I don't really have a, <laughs> I don't really have a situation to tie this into, but you can kind of get a feel for how that might tie into the will, uh, and how a card here would relate. Um, in the air position, we have an airy card, so that's great. Um, pretty easy to read those. Uh, it's, uh, the five of swords, so there's kind of a competition going on, kind of some battles going on, and some victories in this case and that's what the mind is focused on it's focused on these kinds of uh, conquests and fights and spoils of war so to speak uh and then in the emotions we have a sword card so uh the feelings here would be kind of focused on uh or, or resulting from these uh nightmares where the nine of swords is always kind of a crappy card <laughs> it's never really a happy one and so the emotions are kind of churning uh, based on this, uh, based on these nightmares and fears and dread that are brought on by this card. So, yeah, the feeling would be a feeling of unease, a uh, feeling of uh, kind of impending doom, a feeling of fear, a feeling of worry, kind of a tough spot to be in. Uh, and again, that's also the unconscious level, whereas I would usually read uh, the air element as being conscious issues. So. You're aware of the battles taking place and the victories, but underneath it all, kind of worried about maybe losing something or uh, the inevitable round you do lose, the, the battle that is lost. And uh, great, we have Earth and Earth, so that's always a nice one. Um, so in this example, we would have the uh, uh, the Six of Coins or the Six of Shields here, uh, indicating a kind of a charitable attitude is a foot in our situation or that if this was a person that they would have a very generous and fair nature in regards to their material assets so this is a great way to get a view of a person like we we're just saying uh, you can kind of get a snapshot of their elemental configuration at the time or perhaps in the future or past you can learn a little bit more about that or you can use this as a situational uh, layout so if you were maybe starting a new job you wanted to know what the culture was like or what you would uh what you need to know uh, to fit in at this new place you could kind of uh, pull some cards and lay them out in this fashion and get a better understanding of how to prepare yourself kind of maybe uh, learn what you need to focus on and uh, what uh, you might need to bring to the party so, to speak. so that's about it guys that's the uh the pentagram layout so um you know, I don't think I had any music playing this whole video. Oh, well. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the sound of my voice instead. Um, but that's about it. Yep, I'll leave this up here uh, so you can get a sense of the layout. Again, top, uh, top card, spirit, fire, air, water, earth. And uh, you can pause it here and take notes or do whatever you want. And uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, be well and uh, happy readings. Bye, guys.